Good morning, Natasha. Wow, great weather for our Safe in the Sound event. And check it out. Love seeing everyone out here getting their free emergency preparedness kit, as well as learning about how to keep themselves safe in a natural disaster or severe weather event. Safe yeah, yeah, yeah. and sound is big for PSC because we know that our crews will be prepared, but our customers have to be prepared too. And safe and sound is a really great way to help people be ready if a big storm, earthquake, anything comes their way, with safe and sound they'll be ready. It's a beautiful place that we live in here in the Pacific Northwest, and it's important that we know what risks come along with that. These are things that are, are critical. What we're hoping for is people take these kits, use them as part of their go kit and they also take the initiative to build a larger kit. So this is really an idea starter. Having a kit is important to our family because you never know when Mother Nature is going to wreak havoc on our neighborhood. We're really enjoying our partnership with C plus C and the Red Cross, and it's amazing how many people are coming out and the things they're saying that, you know, I saw this on TV. I saw it on television, and I thought it was a good opportunity to help my daughter understand what we can do to be better prepared for the event of the as a company that responds to emergencies, we want our employees to be safe, we want our customers to be safe too. And in the end, safety and preparedness is really a partnership. Our professionals will be ready at PSC, we want our customers to be ready too. And then together the whole community can be ready. We'll start with the Strawberry Fair Festival up in Marysville. And then um, just about every other weekend after that, through mid-July, we have events that will be at. The message is three things. It's get a kit, so make sure you've got those kits ready at home, in the car, in your office. It's make a plan. Take time out with your family around the dinner table and start to have conversations about what you would do if a disaster happened. How to get out of the house in the middle of the night if a home fire occurs. Who to call outside of the area if you're all separated. Uh, and then the last thing is be informed. Make sure you've got a, a reliable source of information to know about things like natural disasters. This summer, get yours free at community events. Look for the Safe in the Sound van. Find the van, get your kit. Go to safeinthesound.org for dates and locations. Do something to stay safe in the sound. Get a kit, make a plan, be informed. Brought to you by Puget Sound Energy, the American Red Cross, and King Fox.